Hey guys, welcome to today's video and welcome to my channel. So in today's video, if you guys haven't really noticed from the title already, it's something I really, really was dying to try out and here it is. It is the Milk Makeup Hydro Eye Primer. The Hydro Grip Eye Primer actually. And when I first saw this, I was just like, we got an eye version of this. I have to try this. Now I tried the face one before and I loved it. I went back to it and then I just tried these other products and haven't gone back to it since. But when I heard there's an eye version of this, I got so excited and I was just like, now is the formulation the same? Could I just use the Hydro Grip Primer on my eyelids and in my eyes instead? Like what's the difference or is it just a gimmick, right? I don't know. So I wanted to try this out for you guys and see if it actually really worked. So if you guys are interested in hearing my thoughts, opinions, wear time and all that good stuff, in this video, keep on watching, but before we get started with it, make sure you're subscribed to my channel, ring the bell so you're notified when I do upload a new video, and don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you love Milk Makeup, especially their Hydro Grip Primer, because I'm thinking it's gonna be like a cult favorite and everything because it's so good. So give this video a thumbs up if you guys love that, and don't forget to follow me on my social media handle right there, which is just my Instagram, and let's get started with the video. Okay, you guys, so... Here is the product right here, the Milk Makeup New Hydro Grip Eye Primer. I am so excited to try this. Now, I don't know what to expect. I've used their Hydro Grip Primer before. I never really tested that on the eyes though, so I don't know if like that would work just as like the same as this or maybe it's a gimmick or, or anything like that. If someone has tried that out, please let me know. Like someone mentioned in the comments down below. So of course in today's video, we're gonna be focusing on this beauty right here. This does retail for $32 Canadian for 8.5 milliliters or 0.29 fluid ounces. And this is supposed to of course be hydrating. The similar ingredient that they have uh, with this and their Hydro Grip is the blue agave. So this is what the packaging looks like right here. And of course, it is the wand. So what I like about this is that there is no color. It's invisible, it's clear, it's great for all skin tones. Another thing I found very intriguing is that you can use this obviously as the eyelid primer for your um, eyeshadows, but you can use it also underneath your eyes as well for your concealer. So we're definitely gonna try that out to see if there's any they're selling to the fine lines. So of course this is a invisible hydrating primer for eyeshadow and under the eyes and soothes skin and locks down color to prevent creasing, fading, and smudging. Has the blue agave extract which helps form an invisible layer to lock in makeup. Has hyaluronic acid and hemp derived cannabis seed extract to boost hydration for delicate eyelid and under eye area, niacinamide and aloe water to provide additional moisture and antioxidant benefits. And they said that this is 93% natural. So this is like really, really good in terms of like ingredients like, like it doesn't have any phthalates formaldehyde has like all those like gunky ingredients so I really really love that um, so as you guys can see I don't have any eyeliner or anything like I usually do my eyeliner with like eyeshadow first and all that um, I'm not gonna touch my liquid eyeliner today but I'm gonna do like a base um, for like an eyeshadow and then use my eyeshadow for like the liner and I'm, that's all I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna touch my liquid eyeliner. I would just put it in the inner corner just so it just looks like my um, my eyelashes would just connect and not look like it's bare. So that's the only time I'll use my liquid eyeliner, but everything else I will leave alone. So let's get into it. I'm gonna scoot you guys in and so you guys have a better, closer look. Okay, so I got my liner brush right there. I'm obviously gonna put it on both eyes to see how it is, but I'm just gonna do it on the one eye to show you guys just so I can cut some time off. And then when I move on to the under eyes, I'm only gonna do it to one side uh, just to see the comparison, how it holds up with and without the primer. The wand feels a little stiff, so I don't even know how much I'm supposed to apply but I like that it's clear. It has a very different consistency than the Hydro Grip Primer itself because the Hydro Grip is very like tacky, very grippy. Um, this one isn't. There's no scent to it, which is awesome. So they say before you put on any product, wait until this becomes tacky because the grippiness needs to be activated in order to, you know, grip onto anything. They did say to apply a thin layer and then 
um, blend it out with your fingertips. So I don't know when it's supposed to feel dry because I would think that like I would feel some sort of tackiness but I don't feel that at all. Maybe I didn't put enough because I don't want to put too much and then next you know it starts like pelling, right? I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. matte for matte palette and I'm just gonna go in with this fourth shade right here and just go all over the lid and then I'm gonna go in with the other Wet n Wild, the color icon for, for my eyeliner. So I believe it's dried completely. It doesn't say how quick, how long it, it would dry for. I still feel no tackiness so I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it. So hopefully that um, there's no skipping or anything like that. And again, I'm just gonna apply this over all over the lid so it's nothing too crazy. I might just add like another shade um, just to help darken this up a little bit. So it definitely feels hydrating. It doesn't feel like tacky how other traditional um, eye primers feel. Okay, so right now I'm gonna go in with the Sigma E45, the small taper blending brush. And right now, I'm gonna go in with this, this shade right here, just right next to it, just dunk it in a bit. And just deepen out that outer V slightly. So it's definitely picking up the color just fine. There's no skipping, there's no weird patchiness going on. I'm actually quite impressed so far. Of course, we're gonna see how the shadows hold throughout the day. Right now it is 10.45. Um, so by the time I finish my face and everything, well, it'll probably be like, I don't know, closer to, to noon. Um, but we shall see. So I think this is a good amount of depth right there already. I'm not gonna go too crazy like I said, but I will go in back to that original first shade just to help blend anything, everything out. Time to go with my angled liner brush and I'm gonna go in again with the Wet n Wild, the color icon. I'm gonna dunk into these two shades right here. I mean, it's holding up the color quite well. Okay, so I just went in with some micellar water, just clean up that little wing. Okay, so this is what it looks like. You can see that it picked up some color. Um, it didn't say that it was going to intensify like the eyeshadows or anything like that, but I can notice that the pigment is a little bit better than what like if I was to do it on my bare skin, right? And again, with the feel of it, it doesn't feel tacky. It feels really nice. Like I, I prefer to have this consistency rather than the tackiness. It has that grip, but it's not tacky to the point where like it'll just skip over. You know what I mean? Um, so so far, I'm actually kind of liking this. Um, we're just gonna add a shimmer on top. Just for the fun of it. Okay, we'll go in with this shade. We're just gonna add a bit of shimmer on there, make the center of the eyelids pop a little bit. It's a bit of pizzazz right there. Picked up quite well, nothing's going on. We'll see if it does any creasing throughout the day. Um, another reason why I wanted to do some shimmers on the center, just so we could see if there's any, um, you know, anything weird going on. So I'm gonna do the other eye off camera, do my mascara and all of that, and then I'm gonna put the primer on my face and then I'm gonna focus under here for the Milk Makeup Primer and then like my pores with my other primer. So I wanna see if it would conflict with my other primers and if it will, you know, crease or not. So this side usually has a little bit more lines than this side, so we're gonna do the Hydro Grip Primer on this side. So I'm gonna do all that and I will be right back. And we are back! So I've done my eyeliner as you can see and I've just noticed that I wasn't really much in center. And also I always like use different primers to target different areas on my face. So um, my T-zone, I'm using the Catrice Goodbye Pores Primer so hopefully it doesn't really conflict with it too much or at all. If it doesn't, great! And then for the rest of my face, I am using the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Primer. Um, I do have a smile line that's right here that's more prominent than this side, so we're going to use that as well because this does say that it prevents creasing. So we shall see about that. If it actually prevents creasing, ooh, I think we got Game Changer. 
So what I'm doing is just patting that in. I'm not swiping. So just pat, 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 and pat under there. So I'm gonna let that dry, of course. And I need to wet my sponge for a sec and I will be right back. So my usual, I'm going with the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk in shade 3.5 and mixing that with a bit of the Shiseido um, uh, Synchro Skin in shade O because one of them I'm a bit too light or a bit too dark. And I am going to go in with my Enisa Beauty foundation brush. It's my go-to. I love this brush. Now I did go to the beach yesterday. I think I got a little bit darker. It was hard to for me to really like get a tan yesterday because like it was so windy so I wasn't really burning too much. And for me, it's hard for me to even get a tan anyway. So even if it's cloudy outside, and like I just sit outside like I it's like so hard for me to even like get darker Like I need the Sun. I probably need to be there like good chunk of the day for me to even get a tan I was there for maybe like a couple of hours. So it wasn't really much, but at least I got a bit darker Summer is basically over now. I was like, hey, you know, what? we need to go to the beach one last time before fall and well fall kind of is technically here and before you know like the cold weather comes around take advantage of what we how much like warmth we have left so just right off the bat the foundation over my smile line there is no conflict there and also in between um the primer from the catrice primer and the hydro grip there's no conflict there so they are working together and in case you guys haven't tried any of beauty brushes you guys are sleeping they buff so well. I haven't touched like my other brushes or sponge in the longest time. Again, the foundation over the Hydro Grip looks pretty good. There's no complications in between the Hydro Grip here and the Catrice. Um, they're working just great and obviously the application is still flawless. Um, so I'm just going to contour my nose. So when I reach this point, that's when I'll be back. So see you guys in a little bit. Okay, so I've gone to my nose and all that stuff. I still have to put powder on it, but I wanted to kind of like use the time for my uh, concealer to dry to um, set my nose contour and all that stuff. So um, I've done all that. So now we're going to go in concealer. I'm going with the Kosas Revealer Concealer in shade 5.5. And we're going to see how well this works. So remember, my left side is the side where I put the Hydro Grip and the other side, my right side, is left alone. Okay, so before we continue, I need to take out my puff and my setting powder. So we're gonna go with Chanel as this dries. I'm gonna go with Chanel in shade 20 and I'm gonna set my nose highlight. I have too many things going on on this desk right now. Like I need to either declutter or I need to get a bigger desk. I don't know what to do. All right, so I'm gonna take my triangle sponge from Amazon. If you guys haven't checked out my like Amazon favorites video already, where have you been? Like go check that out. I got this triangle puff from there and it works great. It's so good for going underneath the eyes right there, which I will show you guys later. Um, but it, it's really, really good. I think this is a lot better than the other puffs you see out there, like, um, what's it, the Laura Mercier, dare I say. Okay, so I think that should be enough time for it to set. So I'm gonna go in with my Anissa Beauty brush. This is their angled concealer brush. I feel like there's a floof on my eye. So we're gonna go in with the left side first. Uh, that is the side with the Hydro Grip, and we're gonna see how this blends out. And I'm gonna take you guys with me throughout the day, do a couple check-ins or one or two check-ins, see how it performs. Doesn't look like there's any patchiness going on there, but let me take a closer look for a sec. Oh, there goes my light. My light is out. So the rest of the video is gonna be slightly a little bit dimmer. Um, hopefully that won't pose too much as a problem. And in the middle of me doing this too, like out, out of all times, just great timing. Nothing is skipping. It's bled, it blended out quite well. Um, I see no creasing so far, but I'm gonna move over to this eye to see if there's any creasing. And of course, like 
I'm going to do some check-ins throughout the day to see how it performs. Okay, so I gotta pat that in. So it doesn't look like it's settling in, but of course we gotta set the eyes, obviously. I gotta put on my blush. Which blush should I put? I'm gonna put on the Merit blush today. And I'm going with a Juno & Co. ES03 blush brush and just add some color there. Okay, so before I smooth everything else out, I'm gonna grab my CoverGirl powder. So I'm gonna go in with that sponge again and go right underneath, blend everything out, make sure there is no creasing, and then go in with the CoverGirl and set all that. Now we're gonna go in on the other side, blend everything out. So I'm using the Morphe bullet brush to go into CoverGirl. This is the M536 and it's really great for underneath the eyes. Use the excess to go up top. First glance, I don't see any creasing. It doesn't look like it's settled in into my fine lines at all. Like it's just sitting on top of it. It's not collecting there or anything. So I think it's doing quite a good job right now. So I'm gonna set the rest of it, like set it again with the powder puff, the triangle, dip into my Chanel and ensure that Nothing happened. It looks really nice so far. It doesn't look like it's set into the lines whatsoever. So far it's looking good, no complaints. Um, so I am gonna do the rest of my face, finish it off, and then I will take you guys with me throughout the day. Also my battery's dying as well on my camera. Anything else that could go wrong. So I need to charge that as well. So another reason why I'm kind of wrapping this up a little bit. Well, I'll definitely see you guys in a little bit. Okay, you guys, so I'm in the bathroom right now, and just so you guys know, it is basically almost 6 o'clock, it's 5.52. So I've had this on for five, six hours now, it's been quite a bit. And hopefully, I don't get demonetized for this. Um, I'll try to enhance my voice and get that out of the way, or whatever. But anyway, so even when I'm wearing a mask, the foundation doesn't seem to be settling into my fine lines like it's like there's a bit of creasing there but um it's not anything major like I, it usually is um underneath my eyes of course i'm using my trusted sephora makeup and trying to hold this with one hand and the camera with the other it did not settle into my fine lines at all so let me see if i can no, adjust this accordingly after MacGyver this. So just looking into this side right here, it doesn't look like it has settled in. It's still sitting very, very nicely. And on the other side, I could kind of see it collecting in the inner corners there. I don't think the camera could pick it up, but it definitely is settling in there a little bit. On the other side, with the Hydro Grip Primer, it doesn't seem to be doing that, but let me just take a closer look first. So, it's gonna be hard for me to show this to you guys, but it's... I don't think the camera's gonna pick up too well, but it's not collecting in the fine lines at all. Like, it just looks... Like, it still looks like it's sitting. It's really, really impressive. Um, I didn't think my eye would actually like this. I thought it was a, a gimmick. It was just like, really? For the concealer? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I, and I thought it was gonna make it look cakey as well. The eyeshadow still looks like it's it's worn on. There's no, there's a bit of creasing. Like there's a bit of fade there. Um, yeah, there's a bit of fade um, towards more of the inner corner a little bit. So it looks like the eyeshadow has been taken off. The other side, not so much. I'm assuming I probably didn't put enough. That's why it's not. Um, the pigment has been taken off compared to this side. So I think that's what I did wrong there. But overall, for a six hour wear, it's not creasing, it's not, it's not that bad. So I'm gonna wear this for another three hours and see how it is, if it ends up settling, or if it still looks the exact same. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, you guys, so I know I said I was going to check in like around nine o'clock, but I am very hungry right now. So right now it's 8.06, so I don't think an hour is gonna really do much of a difference. So we're gonna take a closer look on what's going on. Um, so I hope you guys were able to see what's going on 
in my first check-in because you know like phone quality versus what you guys see here is a little bit different right but i hope you guys were able to see it so uh just to recap i've been at the mall since about one ish o'clock uh p.m and i just got home so it's now eight o'clock but i had this on since about 11 ish or so 11 11 30 so we we basically had a good like eight hour wear obviously i have my mask on when i'm walking around and there is a lot of heat that is circulating around here like just a lot of breathing in and out and just just recycled air okay and with that there's there's a lot of heat that's around here so that contributes quite a bit to the factor of the the product so normally when i wear a mask for that long my, and obviously talking and smiling and all that my smile lines tend to be a little bit more prominent because it's settled in taking a closer look i see that the foundation did not really settle into the fine lines at all so typically it'll kind of like break around here a little bit um because once again it's my smile lines and it'll kind of break around there but I don't really see any breakage at all like I can see my smile line but it's not collecting in there like it normally like it usually does when I wear a mask for that long so that's quite impressive so in terms of the under eyes the side that doesn't have the hydro grip primer it still looks good like the concealer on its own like without any like under eye primer it still works really well it doesn't really crease or anything like that anyways so on its own it's fine, it still hasn't increased or anything, like I didn't expect it to anyways. I could kind of see it settling to the fine lines a little bit, but it's so fine that like in order for you to kind of see it, you have to be really close to me and kind of drag my eye down a little bit. So there's not there's no changes there. On the side with the primer though, it looks just like the same as it does on this side. So there's no change there in terms of consistency. So taking a closer look, like just like kind of dragging my eye down a little bit, not dragging but slight tug um it did not settle into my fine lines at all like there is nothing it doesn't look dry it doesn't look cakey i'm i'm actually quite intrigued by that is the fact that like i figured that there was this was just gonna be a gimmick um and also if you're gonna use the hydro grip primer anyways for your face you wouldn't really need this for your smile lines because it, it would prevent that anyways but because obviously i use a different primer i figured might as well just test test it out see how it is but right underneath the eyes it looks great like no creasing whatsoever there is no dryness it looks pretty hydrated and i put powder on too right so obviously like sometimes when you put on too much powder it's gonna look like too cakey you can see every emphasis of your pores but that is not the case it's pretty darn good in terms of the eyeshadows um the color still held up well um i mentioned this in my last check-in that the color is kind of separated right there so i probably did not put enough of the product in the inner corner right there so that might be just my fault and not the product on its own because like everywhere else is just fine it's just the inner corner like right there so that could be just just be me um and even on this side this side is just fine on the inner corners there so i'm thinking that it could just be me not putting enough product on the inner corner not applying it evenly because this side doesn't show that it's creasing um, compared to this side so that could just be my fault but in any case the color's still there and nothing's budged nothing's moved despite that little corner in there but that's just me um but everything's fine like everything looks so nice and smooth it doesn't look cakey i have a nice glow to me despite having a mask on for a good chunk of my day but it looks nice like do you guys see that i have like a nice like hydrated look around here it doesn't look dry i also again like the fact that this is invisible it's clear it's universal for all skin tones and i i i can't hate on this it's actually quite nice and if you're going to be using it as an eye primer at least you'll have some skincare benefits to it as well because it'll just be hydrating underneath there so i i actually really really enjoy this i actually have a really good makeup day like i i went into this going this is probably a gimmick it's probably not going to be that great but seeing the results like i still look kind of mad but 
glowy matte, soft matte. That's that's what that's what I'm going for. Like I look pretty darn good for like an eight hour day, eight eight nine hour day, and having my mask on for a good chunk of the time, just covering this section right here, and. You know, nothing's budged, everything's good, nothing's been sewn to the fine lines. I think Milk Makeup did a great job with this. Like, I give this a two thumbs up. I hope you guys agree with this because, like, look at this. Mmm. Mmm mmm. So, anyways, you guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, of course, in summary, I approve of this uh, eye primer. Like, I really, really do like this. I didn't think I would, but I actually do. And I hope you guys try this out. Uh, that is it for today's video. I am hungry, I am famished, and I need to go eat right now. So I will see you guys in the next video. But before you guys leave, make sure you check out these other two videos right here if you haven't done so already. I forgot my line for a moment. <laughs> and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!